This is Michael Popak, Legal AF. All options are on the table. All options are on the table. So says E. Jean Carroll's attorney, Roberta Kaplan, about new, defamatory, disgusting, and misogynist statements made by who else? Donald Trump on when else? Memorial Day against E. Jean Carroll, who uh, not one but two juries have already found that Donald Trump sexually assaulted, defamed, and hit him with punitive damages to separate federal civil juries. For instance, let me just ask a question before I get into the new defamation that could give rise to defamation lawsuit, successful defamation lawsuit number three for E. Jean Carroll, a former editor for Elle magazine. Is this the right time? Let's talk timing. For, for Donald Trump over Memorial Day weekend to start calling his political enemies, get this, human scum. Now there's dignified presidential language of a candidate if I ever heard one. Human scum is how he characterizes judges and prosecutors and other people that are against him. And then he went out of his way for no apparent reason, no good reason. He already has $100 million of bond money sitting on appeal to stop the enforcement of these judgments that E. Jean Carroll already obtained. No good reason. Nothing's going on in the case. The appeals haven't been heard yet. And now is the time to attacking another aspect of the justice system. Let's return to E. Jean Carroll. I know Roberta Kaplan, the lawyer. We've had her on Legal AF. I would not mess with Roberta Kaplan. (laughs) I mean, I like a good good litigation fight. I want Robbie Kaplan on my side. Let me put it that way. And And I'm pretty tenacious myself. Robbie Kaplan's track record against Donald Trump is, um, let me use, let me use a phrase from Todd Blanche in his closing arguments for Donald Trump. Uh, Roberta Kaplan is a goat. A G-O-A-T, the greatest of all time when it comes to taking down Donald Trump. She is the MVP of lawyers successfully taking down Donald Trump. She sued him multiple times and won. She's handling multiple cases against him right now for multiple clients, and she's winning. For E.G. Carroll alone, the first time she got a jury, uh, 9-0, two years ago, uh, I'm sorry, uh, a year ago, May, to find a couple of things. One, they found, as a matter of fact, as the tra- as the fact finders, that Donald Trump sexually assaulted and digitally penetrated E. Jean Carroll with at least his finger or fingers or some sort of whatever in a dressing room at Bergdorf Goodman in uh, 1996, in the spring of 1996. She was shopping there. He lived across the street from there. They knew each other from social circles that intersected, and the rest is sexual assault history. Now, the the only reason that jury, and this is important for other things that Donald Trump said in his uh, Memorial Day human scum uh, announcement, is they couldn't figure out because she couldn't figure out because she had her eyes closed as the victim of a sexual assault, whether he used his finger or his penis. We'll leave it to others to speculate about why that was hard for her to determine. Because the jury didn't have solid evidence on that. They found sexual assault, but not rape, because in New York, it's unique in New York, and it's that law has now been changed. A person has to use his, his penis to commit rape. The law has been changed now, but at the time, that was the law. So the jury went to sexual assault. So he wasn't exonerated. Donald Trump wasn't exonerated for not being a rapist. He's, he's a digital rapist, which Judge Luke Kaplan has reminded him on a number of occasions in writing, in his decisions and orders in this case, that he was convicted technically of rape, of, of, um, of rape, digital rape, if you will, digital meaning fingers. So the jury found that after a, a, a seven-day trial and also hit him with punitive damages, and that was $5.5 million. But there was a second E. Jean Carroll case about other statements that Donald Trump made while he was in the president uh, presidential office about her. She's a hoax. She's a fraud. I never met her. Okay. They um, had a second trial about six months ago. And, and there, Donald Trump uh, testified. <laughs> okay. And that, that new jury of nine people came back 9-0 against Donald Trump again. But now this time hit him for $83.5 million, $83.3 million, because he continued to defame 
E. Jean Carroll, the way he's doing it now, and to hit him with punitive damages, which is the purpose of punitive damages, is to punish. It's right there in the title, as opposed to actual damages, which go to her, you know, loss of income and emotional distress and and other other economics that the jury had awarded her the first time. Now they hit him primarily with punitive damages to make him stop. In fact, when they did the closing argument, Roberta Kaplan looked at that jury and said, you need to make him stop. He's continuing to defame her while we're in this courtroom. And she printed out in real time evidence. I never saw this before. And although he, he started to do it again uh, related to the gag order issues. Trump manufactured in real time new evidence against him in the defamation case. And Robbie Kaplan dutifully brought it into the jury every time she did it. They had a printer in the courtroom and they would print it out and they would digitize it and use it as an exhibit. And the jury to punish Donald Trump for his incessant attacks on, on E. Jean Carroll right through the trial hit him with a total of $83.3 million. That total running with interest in New York is up to almost $100 million. And Donald Trump had to post a bond for the 83.3 uh, uh, with interest through Chubb Insurance. And then he put up cash for the 5.5. And that's still sitting there waiting on the appeals. If he loses the appeals, all that money goes over with interest over to E. Jean Carroll and her lawyers. Now we've got number three, the Memorial Day attack on E. Jean Carroll. Let me read to you so you know that I'm not making it up. Although I think I have enough credibility with the audience. That they know I don't generally make up things. Here's the, here's the uh, social media post. Memorial Day weekend, a candidate for the highest office of the land and the leader of the free world. I want you to remember this. Happy Memorial Day to, Memorial Day to all, including the human scum, capital H, capital S, that is working so hard to destroy our once great country. He referred to E. Jean Carroll as a woman who I never met before. A quick handshake at a celebrity event 25 years ago doesn't count. Hold that thought. I'll tell you about that interaction. She didn't know when the so-called event took place. The so-called event, he meant the digital rape that he committed on her in a dressing room in a department store across the street from Trump Tower where he lived. Sometime in the 1990s. No, she said in the spring of 1996. Never filed the police report. Right. She's a victim of a rape. And we're victimizing her apparently again in this posting. Didn't have to produce the dress that she threatened me with. It showed negative. By the way, that is not true. She kept a black coat dress in the back of her closet. She she testified because of the trauma of what happened to her. Think about that. For like over 35 years, 40 years, she kept a dress from in the back, unclean in the back of her closet. The DNA testing is a, a canard, is a red herring, okay? That uh, they never moved to have it tested timely. That was an Alina Haba F up of the first degree. And they eventually agreed there'd be no mention at the trial of any kind of DNA evidence one way or the other. So it didn't absolve Donald Trump. The rape charge was dropped by the jury. Right, because they couldn't figure out whether you used your penis or your finger. I don't think that covers you with glory about exoneration. Like, they didn't get me for rape. They got me for digital rape. I mean, really? So he's done that before. He's defamed her before. And they've been keeping their powder dry about whether to bring another lawsuit against them. Um, he said back in March that this was, he called her Miss Bergdorf Goodman, the name of the department store. Um, he said that, uh, you know, she can't, she can't remember anything, that, um, uh, that she is a, uh, a hoax, that she's trying to shake him down. Uh, as to the, I met her 25 years, I met her 30, 40 years ago in, with a handshake on a line. That was the infamous photo. We'll put it up against here again here that was used in two trials against him in which he said in his deposition, sworn statement under oath, that he didn't remember meeting her. They then had a photo of a laughing E. Jean Carroll with her then husband, John Johnson, who was a newscaster in New York on WABC with um, Donald Trump laughing on a handshake line with his first wife, Ivana. And when they showed him that photo, this unstable genius who can't keep any facts straight or put a sentence together looked at the photo and said, right, that's me, Marla Maples. And he pointed to E. Jean Carroll. And, uh, uh, and they said, sorry, Marla Maples? Where's Marla Maples? And he pointed to E. Jean Carroll, the woman that he said was not his type. 
which is his, which is his defense to raping her. Marla Maples, right there. And then Alina Haba is heard on the video saying, that's Carol, that's that's Carol. Like she's the nurse and he is in, you know, and he's in the beginnings of dementia or halfway through. Oh, is that Carl? Uh, it's a blurry photo. I mean, we'll show the photo. The photo's not blurry at all. Okay. And they use that. And they use Donald Trump's BS about not being able to recognize it and thinking that he had two wives in the same photo, <clears throat> Ivana and um, Marla Maples, who obviously was his type because he married her. So I just wanted to bring the photograph back into this. Roberta Kaplan should not be messed with. They are likely, as she mentioned in her um, in her social media posting, uh, there's a one to three year statute of limitations. She's got up to a year uh, to file a lawsuit about the Memorial Day attacks. And I assure you, another jury in New York, another nine people, make it now 27, are going to rule against Donald Trump and hit him with a number that's higher than 83.3. How high can Donald Trump count? Right, we're, we're we're up to the we're up to the socks off and counting off the toes at this point about how much he's going to owe E. Jean Carroll, and he's going to pay for those that are worried. This hundred million dollars bond in cash guarantees that she's going to get paid when, not if, he loses his appeals. And now just add this third: she's going to ask E. Jean Carroll's lawyer, Roberta Kaplan, is going to ask a future jury, right after he loses the election, to award her, you know, more than the eighty three point three million. She's going to say 150 million. The 83.3 wasn't enough. Look what he did. Human scum. Dress showed negative. Rape charge dropped. I never knew her. Never met her. She can't remember anything. Lie, lie, defamation, defamation, defamation. Multiple counts. Times the amount of people that read that posting. Right? Dollar amounts. How much he raised off of that? I'm sure R Robbie Kaplan, in her discovery process, is going to figure out how much of a grift Donald Trump made on the backs of that uh, that email and that tweet, that social media posting, and then and want to disgorge that and send it over to E. Jean Carroll because he's making money on the backs of her victimhood. No other way to put it. I'm going to continue to follow everything about E. Jean Carroll. For many reasons that I think you can appreciate here at the intersection of law and politics, only one place on the Midas Touch Network and on Legal AF on Wednesdays and Saturdays at 8 p.m. Eastern time right here on this YouTube channel for Midas Touch and then on a major uh, podcast platforms of your choice. If you like what I'm doing, leave a comment and a thumbs up. Slide over to Midas Touch YouTube. Look for playlists. Uh, contributors, you'll find Michael Popak and my entire body of work. So until my next hot take, until my next Legal AF, this is Michael Popak reporting. Heary, heary, Legal AF Law Breakdown is now in session. Go beyond the headlines and get a deep dive into the important legal concepts you need to know and we discuss every day on Legal AF. Exclusive content you won't find anywhere else, all for the price of a couple of cups of coffee. Join us at patreon.com slash legalaf. That's patreon.com slash legalaf.